Now to central Nigeria, where sectarian violence, violence is again flaring up in Kaduna State. Attacks have killed at least 200 people since December and left both Christian and Muslim communities in ruins. Reporter Chika Odua traveled to southern Kaduna State to investigate. Says a prayer for his daughter Anna. Hey, your sweet soul. That's in perfect peace. She was 14 years old when she was gunned down during an attack on their community on Christmas Eve. Morik sits in his daughter's bedroom. She was here when she heard gunshots. She fled out the back door, but it was already too late. Witnesses say there were about 200 attackers, some carrying AK-47s. After a while, the police came and repelled the assailants. The attackers are still outside the village. Any attempt by anybody to go one kilometer outside this village, you'll be killed. The community of Goska is remote. In these hills, mostly Christian farmers live alongside nomadic cattle herders who belong to the predominantly Muslim ethnic group called Fulani. Kaduna State is no stranger to sectarian strife. Residents say it started back in the 1980s. Disputes over politics and land rights can set it off. Local activists worry the nation has grown numb. I know people don't want to see certain images, but I put that upon myself to put certain things out because it is those images that will bring out the reaction, that will make people pay attention. And then most importantly for us is to try to make people see beyond the figures. The past year has seen conflict rise to unprecedented levels throughout central Nigeria. Some attributed to more herders coming south looking for grazing land. Hundreds of residents have fled the violence. The state government emergency management agency says 204 people have been killed since December, but numbers are still being compiled. The Catholic Church has been collecting names and photos of the dead. The violence erupted in December despite a government-imposed curfew. You can go and count from the graveyard. You can go, even the bones are still there. In Goska, residents say herders are trying to force them off their land. Police investigating told VOA they see a cycle of reprisal. Just a few kilometers away in the neighboring village of Dangoma, homes owned by Muslim families are in ruins. Residents say they were attacked December 23rd and 26th. That's the day before and two days after the attack on Goska. Muslim community leaders say Christian villagers are staking claims to land they don't own and driving herders away. One village leader gave VOA photos of the dead. They will go to the media and say that Fulani are killing them. That is, they are the people causing all this problem. Blocking road, when they meet somebody is grazing his cows in the bush, they will just kill him, kill his cows. We lost almost more than 6,000 cows. Together, they pray for souls of the dead. Abdullahi Jibril talks to a Fulani leader about his three sons. They were last seen grazing their cows in a predominantly Christian neighborhood in early January. What hurts me most is that I can't find the corpses. I'm calling on the government to take charge and wipe my tears. As state police investigate, Communities are left to mourn and pray for peace. Chika Odua for VOA News, Kaduna, Nigeria.